One of the most interesting parts of the Bitcoin ecosystem is on-chain metrics. It allows anyone in the world at any time to look on the blockchain and see exactly what's happening. Who is moving what, when, and to who? That allows anyone in the world to know exactly what's going on. There's more transparency and there's more information available in the Bitcoin ecosystem than in the traditional financial system. Now, why is that important? Well, right now we know that Bitcoin miners, they're actually moving more and more Bitcoin onto exchanges. We don't have to go and talk to every single miner. We don't have to go and try to figure out what's happening. We can just look right on the blockchain and see that more and more Bitcoin is moving from miners' wallets into these exchanges. Now, of course, that could mean that they are selling lots of tokens, as Bloomberg pointed out here, saying that prices are going lower and so Bitcoin miners are having to sell tokens. Now, why exactly would they be selling? Well, if you think about it, their revenue is denominated in Bitcoin. And if they want to have any sort of capital to be able to run their operations, they've got to sell Bitcoin to raise that capital. And so naturally, as price goes down, Bitcoin miners are having to sell Bitcoin, get cash, and then pay for all of those operating expenses. Now, if we go and we take a look here, we can see there's a number of quotes that are important. About 195,000 coins were moved to Bitcoin exchanges in May. And that's the biggest monthly increase since January, according to Coinmetrics. Based on the Bitcoin average price of around $32,000 in May, the total value values of those tokens was $6.3 billion. It's a ton of Bitcoin moving from Bitcoin miners' wallets onto exchanges. If we then look here, Will Foxley, the director of content at Compass Mining, said, I think miners are just talking about the macro environment and think it's probably prudent to sell Bitcoin in these levels in order to keep the operation safe. Again, that's them trying to make sure they're prepared for any uncertainty in the future. Then if we continue, we can see here that the actual charts, there's been two massive spikes, one towards the end of January and one in the month of May, where miners started to sell lots and lots of Bitcoin. Those also happen to coordinate exactly with big drops in Bitcoin's price. You can see right here at the end of May and into the beginning of June, there's also another uptick of more Bitcoin moving from miners' wallets to those exchanges. If we then take a look here, we can see that the Cathedra CEO said that we have spent the last several weeks restructuring our balance sheet and operations to ensure a Cathedra is well positioned to endure a prolonged economic downturn. And so naturally, what we're going to continue to watch is that Bitcoin miners, they don't know the future. Neither do you or neither do I. But they want to be prepared. They want to make sure they have those strong balance sheets. Having Bitcoin on the balance sheet is obviously great in good times when the value of that Bitcoin is expanding. But in bad times when Bitcoin's price is falling, the value of that Bitcoin is actually contracting. And so their balance sheets get under more stress. Naturally, many of the vendors, many of their operating expenses, they only take dollars. And so Bitcoin miners are having to sell Bitcoin raise dollars, and then use those dollars to pay their expenses. I don't fear any sort of mining death spiral. I don't think that many of the major miners are going to have to go offline. But what we are seeing is that Bitcoin at $30,000 is a much different environment than Bitcoin near $70,000. Miners are simply reacting to that. And so being able to see all of this data occur on chain is incredibly important. It allows us to understand with greater transparency, greater information, exactly what miners are doing. I don't know if you're necessarily going to change your investment strategy based on it, but having more information never hurts.